Okay, here we are with my plans. I've uh, drawn this thing up. Um, I'm just going to take a quick look at it here. Uh, you can freeze the frame and, and um, take a screen capture if you want to duplicate this. It's kind of rough. I know I'm going to end up taking a couple of trips back to Menards to pick up some more stuff. But uh, in a sense, what I want here is I want to put in a couple of windows, uh, like in each of the doors so that I have some additional light in the garage. Now I'm I'm 10 feet 5 inches wide from side to side uh, and I'm gonna end up just putting some anchors in down here uh, into the concrete. I'm gonna anchor over here in three or four places along the uh, um, along the block wall and then above here I've got an iron or a steel I-beam that's going across the top and I'm going to use a 2x6 across the top and I'm going to drill some 3 8 bolts hole, or some 3 8 holes and put some bolts in just because I've got my, uh, my major strength that I need uh, for hanging the door and supporting the door is going to be right here on this I-beam so I want to bolt it in here real good and I'm going to bolt it in the middle just to make sure it doesn't ever sag uh, and that's about it. And as far as the doors go, the construction of the doors is going to be pretty basic and simple. Uh, on the outside, I'm going to use 3 8 plywood. On the inside, I'm going to use quarter inch plywood. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to take the 2x4, make a 2x4 frame here. And I, I'm, I'm just going to take it and run the uh, 2x4s through my uh, planer or my joiner and just clean up the the rounded edges so that I've got a nice sharp edge all the way around the door when it butts up to the uh, to the plywood just just strictly to make it look sharper that's about it um, and I got the tools so I might as well use it uh, if you don't have that I don't think that's necessary at all it's just an aesthetics thing um, so anyway, that's it. And then I'm going to put some double hung sliding doors in here. I think they're about 50, 60 bucks a piece. They're like basement windows and they've got a nail flange on it. So I'll be able to, uh, to button it up on the outside before I put the trim on. I am going to take, and as far as trim goes, I'm going to go ahead and try to d dress this up just a little bit and use one by four material and just put some one by all the way around the outside. Um, and then... And, and just try to polish it up a little bit to make it look good. And then when I'm done, I'm going to paint the whole door white uh, because all the trim on the house is white. I think that the uh, the door would stand out a little bit better if it was just just white as well. So I'm off to the uh, off to the races. Got to go get materials, and I'll be back and we'll update you here in a little bit.